Here are three things I liked about episodes one and two of the series Shogun. Number one, compelling characters. Based on the original 1975 James Clavell novel, this 2024 adaptation is off to a great start with the first two episodes, anchoring the story with characters that capture our attention. English sailor John Blackthorne, Lord Tornaga, and Lady Mariko immediately stand out as characters who are all at a knife's edge in terms of being threatened by impending danger. All three of these characters are essentially using each other for their own purposes, and their full intentions haven't been revealed yet. Blackthorne is a wild card thrown into this politically unstable hotbed in Japan while Lord Tornaga appears to be fighting a losing political battle, and in between them is Lady Mariko, who is carving her own path. It'll be interesting to see how this conflict evolves between these three characters as we look into future episodes. Number 2, Political Intrigue Similar to the popular Game of Thrones series, we have multiple characters and groups within the world of Shogun who are competing for power and influence. Battles are fought with physical weapons as well as with word and subterfuge, making the series a compelling watch. Portuguese traders, Jesuit priests, and several political rivals of Lord Tornaga and Lady Mariko create a dense web of relationships and ulterior motives that make it interesting for the audience to unwrap and discuss after watching each episode. One of the strengths of Game of Thrones was seeing the political intrigue through the eyes of well-drawn, captivating characters. So let's see if Shogun utilizes similar writing techniques with its cast of characters. Number 3, Assassination. Near the end of episode 2, an assassination attempt is launched by a servant who appears to be targeting Lord Tornaga, but it turns out that she was trying to kill Blackthorn. The tense, pulse-pounding scene plays out as we follow the servant navigating in and out of different rooms, killing several people before she reaches where Blackthorn is sleeping. The scene works to show how danger lurks at every corner, and how the stakes can escalate quickly on the turn of a dime in this explosive world. The twist revealing Blackthorn as the target happens after the assassin is killed by Lord Tornaga, and the shock on Blackthorn's face registers with us. Thanks for watching this video, and please let me know if you have any suggestions for other movies, series, and games to analyze. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below on what you think about this series.